When this year's hurricane season rolls around, and it is coming, there will be robots in the ready mode. Yeah, some of them actually were in St. Petersburg's North Sewer Park today, not for public display, but for research, just to look at each other's work. Fox 13 Steve Nichols, though, tells us some of these devices are ready for life-saving duties. One of them floats, some of them fly, and some just truck around on the ground. But they are robots, one and all, and hard evidence of a new science. Five years ago, there were no companies at all offering anything in terms of unmanned systems or autonomous systems for any kind of homeland security. So we really came from, from the 9-11 incident, the mass casualty situation. So the National Science Foundation made USF America's research center for robotic search and rescue tools, along with the University of Minnesota and Carnegie Mellon University. Twice a year, the researchers gather to compare notes and advances. One of the newest tools, biosensors on a stick for reaching into rubble and looking for life. The best application for this, the pulse in SpO2, is on the end of a robot, so we can real uh, uh, precisely position it. But the star of the show is this camera-toting helicopter, field tested last year after Hurricane Katrina ripped through Mississippi. Among other tricks, it flew along and looked through windows. And there's nothing like real-world experience. When you walk around in three feet of mud and try to sh schlep all this gear, you know, around through the debris and not step on something, you know, that can hurt you, you start understanding what you need to carry and what you don't. Some of the technology we saw today is actually available for sale. The next trick is convincing search and rescue agencies they need to buy. So the raft that can look at debris underwater and the helpful eye in the sky are on standby for this year's hurricane season. Both are official tools of Florida's disaster response teams. The only time that this process and this type of application and product is going to get mainstream is when we start using it. And if others decide they want one too, manufacturers are ready to meet the demand. In St. Petersburg, Steve Nichols, Fox 13 News. It's kind of cute. The researchers are happily amused by unexpected uses of their inventions. For ex example, of using that robotic helicopter to grab beauty shots for the Travel Channel. Yeah, they it's pretty look cool. good, but I'm worried about this because I don't know how Randy Powers would fit inside that thing. <laughs> no, that would be kind of tough, tough <laughs> fit. Wouldn't it? Be hard, tough, yeah. <laughs> don't want to lose his job either because he's going to be flying and talking at the same time. <laughs> That's right.